Spherical's is an uh, old CRT TV. Thank you for Megan who donated this TV to me. We'll see what we can do with the device. Hope the colors are a little bit better this time. Um, by holding magnet near the neck is interesting color effects are possible. We get green. On the other side we get pink. Colors have changed a little bit now. Oh that's cool. The red is gone now. This is the magnet I'm using, holding it here by the neck, and it gives me these special effects. Interesting, interesting. it's purple before, and now it's all gone. Shades of uh, green. Alright, now we can wear So, I want to see if I can modify this TV to get a sine wave on the TV screen. I'm going to de-energize the TV and discharge the CRT de-energize TV and we need to discharge the device somewhere uh, can you see what I've just done Put a lead here, and the plug needs to go underneath the auto cap. So I need to get a screwdriver for that. Right, we're going to under the auto cap, you need to go under the auto cap and then discharge. Can't hear anything, so it may have discharged. So touch the metal. Does the CRT can give you a nasty belt? Uh, cutting these four wires, two go to the vertical, two go to the horizontal call, and uh, I'll just want to see if it works. One call measures 5.3 ohms, and the other call measures around 15, 15.3, white and black. Okay, just turn the TV on, and the uh, high resistance call is vertical, beautiful blue. Look how this is connected here, so I've got these two wires at the moment. So the high arm is the blue one. Okay, and this is gonna work out. Huh? I just got the magnet by the neck. Let's now that you can get some real cool colors. I'm not sure the camera will pick it up. They get the friction, we got the three guns, we can just separate them out. I'm learning as I go. Get a rainbow on the TV. Really cool. Let's see what I can create with different magnetic fields around this call here. Let's see what patterns I can get out of this device now. By holding the magnet, I've got an oscillator on here. A tackle motor. A little bit of frame wall here. Oh shit. Make it suck itself in. That controls it like this. Not sure what the other one does, we'll try that out too. Oh that's for the concentration to get a really sharp line. Interesting. We'll learn as we go. This bottom screw does in adjust the intensity on the CRT. It controls it like this. I'm not sure what the other one does, we'll try that out too. Oh, that's for the concentration to get a really sharp line. Interesting. We'll learn as we go. You create purity colors. Oh, we go from purple, red. I haven't had a belt yet, so it's not red. Green. Ah, that's the color controls. Red. Green. Just 
TV is actually too good to destroy sometimes. Camera doesn't do it justice, but the colors are quite interesting. And as well as TV. I should get the horizontal line, that's a bit of luck. <gasps> Fuck smoke. The Energize TV. Oops. Something went wrong in the TV. It didn't like that. That's cool. I documented that on time. Something went very hot. Interesting. You shouldn't be doing that inside. Okay, we're going to energize the TV again and see what happens. Because I stuffed up, I think. The TV still works. Oh, it doesn't work. I held the hand by the thing. It may have died now. I think I burned something out. Fuck. TV is DOA now, is it? Here's the pop. Oh, the light is going now. Let's see what happens. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The TV is dying. The fuse is okay. Hmm, not too sure. Oh, I'm at intensity. I haven't tried it yet. Oh yeah, it still works. Fuck, it works still. That TV still works. That was the intensity I needed to increase. Look at this. Oh, that's the horizontal. That's obviously quite a powerful beam. So, now I need to put a signal on the other thing and see what happens. I'll do this to the making track first. So I haven't destroyed the TV yet. We've got control over the colors. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Got green and uh, orange. Purple. Uh, I've got some control here. Now the next step is get the sine wave on there. The energized camera. Okay, with the techo, I got this motor movement now, so that's good. That's an AC signal, superimposed onto the horizontal uh, thing. Then I need to get on the vertical. I like the color effect, it's really cool. It would be nice to get a color oscilloscope out of this device. Oh well, we get this effect. I don't get the sound wave on the TV, I'll get uh, a bend. And that part works, now we're going to see what happens when we do this. I like some real cool colors. Oh, the bloody nose. We should turn the light off at the moment. Now we get these color effects at the moment. This effect you get, oh, that's quite nice. When you hold the magnet near the aqua deg. I don't know if the camera picks it up, probably won't. This is when the magnet is on the aqua deg. So that's probably part of the degaussing call. We'll call color effects. Oh, really cool. Very I could say 30 volts and that's uh, 240 volts to 8 volts transformator into the vertical coil. Now it's a matter of getting that sine wave on there properly, so yeah, it hasn't smoked again, so the TV seems to be happy. I don't know what burnt out, but it still works. I've 
bit of deflection there, so I'll try this one. Oh, these colours are cool. Should hope the camera picks it up. This is quite cool. This is just as a horseshoe magnet here. Well, it even interferes on the screen like this. <coughs> magic colors, magic colors, really cool. This is quite cool too. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is quite cool colors too. Camera still does not do it justice at all. Colors are really spectacular. I definitely have depuritized the TV. Documentation for the setup, blue to blue, red to red, white and black go to the output transformator. A le magneto. Okay, I think I've got the smoke again before, I'll just see what happens. So just turn it on. And I might be able to document it. Is the light coming on? No, the TV doesn't respond at the moment. The light is orange now. Yeah, let's have a look where it comes from. Something is getting stressed out in this board. I think it's burnt out now. Oh, hang on. Oh. Where the hell does that come from? Off from the bottom somewhere. Oh yeah, I see, I see, I see. Something got stressed out there. I think the TV is toast now. Just documenting the readings here. This uh, vertical coil that changed from 15 ohms to 11 ohms after the burnout. I don't know what happened there. 
this bottom screw on the flyback controls the brightness and the top uh, appears to be controlling the focus so yeah, uh, good adjustments to get a good straight line on the TV screen